going on YouTube it is time for one of Necro Stevo's narrated Wi-Fi battle videos I, I think I just referred to myself in the third person well wow, am I that out of practice with this anyways though today we have a passerby type battle um, and this was a random passerby they just said hey I need someone for a multi battle and I was all sure why not I'm in the middle of EV training but I can do a random multi battle with whatever's in my battle box so, my partner in this starts off with Chandelure. Greninja and Gardevoir are both threats for Tyranitar, but fortunately I have the special defense boost from the Sandstorm, and this particular Tyranitar carries Rock Slide just because my luck with uh, stealth, uh, stone, stone Edge is just so bad, so very bad. Now, here the, the bigger threat is definitely Gardevoir. Greninja's not going to have a Sash in the Sandstorm, and even if it changes its type, um, it's not going to be able to one-hit KO Tyranitar, and so I just went for Rock Slide, hoping that my partner would target down the Gardevoir. Unfortunately, my partner targets Greninja, which is okay. I mean, we take it out because this is a Scarf Chandelure, but now the opponent just gets to switch for free into uh, Gudra. Um, we see another Moonblast hit Tyranitar, and this is my more offensive one, and unfortunately, it's going to be able to... Um, Get a, get a good chunk of damage off there. I end up missing Gudra with Rock Slide, which is going to be big later on. We'll see that I, that I really could use the damage for that right there. Dark Pulse does not do that much to Miss Magia switching in. I'm confused as to why he, it's, he switched into Miss Magius. I don't really know. I don't know. I don't feel like that was an optimal switch right there, just because Miss Magius doesn't take hits that well. Um, here, Drain Punch is going to be able to easily finish off Tyranitar. I could have switched out. Um, I was worried that one of my opponents would have the Talonflame, but at the same time, I didn't really know what I would switch into. This is completely blind battle, no communication with anyone, and so it's hard to, it's hard to play around those types of things. Now we do see that Miss Magius has a leftovers, which means it might have substitute. Not too useful in this battle. I decided to bring out Starmie and go for a Life Orb Ice Beam. We really needed to put some damage on this Gudra since I missed the Rock Slide. I get a critical hit, but since Gudra is most likely especially defensive, bulky, maybe even with an Assault Vest, Rock Slide definitely would have helped out a lot there. Unfortunately, a little bit of, uh, I think that was a misplay for my opponent to go for a Pain Split right there against Hitmonchan when he, when he could have potentially taken out the Gudra. Um, I end up losing my Starmie that turn for no real reason. Uh, after that many turns of Sandstorm damage and the Ice Beam, Gudra definitely would have been KO'd by this point if I had hit the Rock Slide. So now I'm forced to go out into my own Gudra of Salt Vest, of course. Ice Punch does not do as much as I thought it would do, being boosted by the Iron Fist ability. And now my partner goes for a Will-O-Wisp, when yet again, there was just a, a clean opportunity to do some damage. Uh, don't, don't, Hitmonchan is not really a threat here, and I miss out on the opportunity to take out the Gudra. If at any point my partner had just hit the Gudra with an attack, it would be dead, or if I just hit my Rock Slide. Um, but now where I'm going to actually end up losing Gudra this turn to being targeted down again, you'll see that both of my opponents have determined that my, uh, my Pokemon are the ones to focus on as opposed to, um, uh, my opponent's Pokemon, or my partner, I guess, because they have been barely targeting that Miss Magius. Uh, meanwhile, I'm basically getting double targeted every single turn. A little bit hard to battle through that. Now here we see the Talonflame that I was worried about in the beginning of the battle. Uh, this thing is going to clean up a good bit, and f somehow it just doesn't take out the Miss Magius, which I'm assuming either this is a super bulky Miss Magius, or that's, which is more likely, is an uninvested Talonflame. Um, and now I'm down to my last Pokemon. For some reason my partner goes for Hex on the Talonflame, even though it doesn't have any status conditions on it. Um, 
Yeah, not not really agreeing with that play. We do see Flame Charge finish off Miss Magius, giving Talon Flame a speed boost. Probably not needed with the Pokemon that we have left. Uh, or that my partner has left, rather. And his last Pokemon is Ambipom, so he actually does make a great move here, going for the normal gym boosted fake out. Hitting Talon Flame, of course, um, the Hitmonchan being burned means even with the Drain Punch, it's not going to be able to KO, and it'll be able to finish it off next turn, hopefully. Now, that being said, Ambipom is now without an item, kind of staring down the barrel of a, a gun here. He actually has acrobatics on his Ambipom, going to be able to easily finish off Hitmonchan. And my opponent's final Pokemon is Vivion, so that actually gets cleaned out by acrobatics as well. So, a little bit of a come from behind victory there. I definitely thought we had lost after both of my Pokemon went down. But, you know, it was a good match nonetheless. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little multi battle. I have more battles up this week. Work has been ridiculous. I worked five, on average, 14, 15 hour shifts in a row, which is why you didn't really see anything from me after those team building videos. But definitely look forward to some more content this week. Also, if you haven't seen it, go and check out the Striaton conference video that I posted. It gives you a little bit more information about that tournament. Uh, I'll leave a link to that one in the description. Have a great week, guys, and I'll talk to you later.